According to the announcement made by the music school at Indiana University, the esteemed pianist Menahem Pressler passed away on Saturday in London at the age of 99. Pressler was a professor member at the Indiana University Jacobs School of Music, in addition to being a performer and chamber musician who had won multiple awards and founded the Bow Arts Trio. Mr. Pressler was a brilliant pianist, an extraordinary teacher, and a gentle soul who has left an indelible mark on generations of pianists around the globe, Abra Bush, the dean of the Jacobs School, said in a statement on Saturday. Mr. Pressler was a gentle soul who has left an indelible mark on generations of pianists around the globe. The institution promised to make an announcement regarding the funeral preparations. During the nearly seven decades that Pressler was active as a musician, he was presented with a great number of honors and accolades. Among these were six nominations for the Grammy Award, five honorary doctorates, and foreign awards from Germany, Spain, and France. Pressler picked up a guitar when he was around five or six years old and began playing. When my father would get home from a long day at work, he would always ask me, didn't you have enough of practicing now? He stated this in an interview in the year 2013, I never had enough. In 1939, Pressler and his parents escaped Nazi persecution by immigrating from Germany. His parents, grandparents, Aunts and uncles all perished in the gas chambers at Auschwitz. In 1946, he traveled to the United States in order, as he put it, to evaluate his level of skill. He took first place and garnered notice on a global scale at the Debussy International Piano Competition, which was held in San Francisco. I still get that feeling that I had when I went into the telegram office and sent home a telegram saying that I won, she said. It's like it was just yesterday. That was a tremendously exciting experience, he remarked. Almost immediately after that, Pressler made his debut in New York with the Philadelphia Orchestra. After that, he would go on to perform with orchestras all around the world, including in Paris, Dallas, London, and Cleveland, amongst many other cities. Pressler started teaching at Indiana University in 1955, the same year he also founded the Beaux Arts Trio. He collaborated on more than 50 records with the Beaux Arts Trio, which is often regarded as the most accomplished trio in the history of music. 2008 was the year when the band gave its final performance. However, he maintained his position as a professor at IU. He saw it as a means to preserve his youth and leave something for future generations when he was gone. He added, Teaching has been my light's work, and I believe that to be true and the majority of that activity has been focused at IU. There have been several, numerous offers for me to leave with less work and more cash, who wouldn't quit in that situation. I didn't. I felt at peace in this place. Pressler gave a concert in Bloomington on an annual basis. He referred to it as the most intimidating setting he had ever performed at since his classmates were there. He claimed that music was the thing that gave his life meaning and purpose. Having a career gives my life a purpose and a meaning. I just can't picture me doing things like playing video games or watching television. He asked me, when are you going to retire so that you can do something that gives you pleasure? When are you going to retire so that you can do something that gives you pleasure? Because he had recently relocated and purchased a home that was situated directly on a golf course. So, I asked him, do you believe that a life is something that is worth spending time on, that it is a pleasure to get a ball in that little hole? That's not something I could ever imagine myself doing. I am aware that it brings joy to a good number of individuals. I can't. Thanks for watching.